gentlemen. Chairman of the Resourceful Community, Honorable Uhuru Kenyatta, Honorable Balaga. Welcome and Namaste to all. I'm actually privileged to be standing here amongst you. I cannot say how long ago or how far away I have dreamt of this moment. But this moment has finally arrived. And with all due respect, sir, I would not like to take one minute, but five minutes of your time. Please allow me. First of all, Mishma um, Uhuru, thank you very much for gracing us with your, your presence. Mishma Balala, thank you. And I'm sure you'll send a message to Mishma Ruto too. You see, for our community and any community, it's very important to give them confidence, to give them reassurance. And that's why I'm very glad that members of our community stood up and asked you all the questions that they needed to while being brief. The worst thing anybody can have in life is live in fear. To conquer fear is the way that person will promote his life and his community and his country. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I decided to stand for Parliament in our great country, Kenya. I thank, I thank the Jubilee Alliance. I thank the Jubilee Alliance for supporting me in the rallies and in my particular area, Makadara. Yes, I represent the minorities. Yes, I represent the Asians. But first and foremost, I represent Kenyans. Mishnua, I, I am a daughter of an industrialist. I know what it means when we go to the Ministry of Land and you have to walk in and out of offices for three or four weeks just to get a certificate of clearance. I'm happy to say that I did not pay one cent, but sir, corruption is the root of our problem. That is one thing which the coming government, our government, must address. My good brother here mentioned the problem of city councils. Coming from Masadara, I know one thing. The amount of money that goes in Kitu Kidogo, Kwahawatu, if we stopped paying that, and if there was a structure where there was a system where everything was formalized, all that money collated in Kitu Kidogo, if divided in two, 50% can go into increasing the salaries of the people who work, and 50% can go to development of factories. Yes, I have a temper, but it's all for a good reason. <laughs> I'm fired up now because I think, I think, we, we need to have people in our community who can stand up and say, enough is enough. <laughs> True, we came here in 1898, and we've lived here, and we've worked here, we have paid taxes. Mishima, our children have gone abroad, and very many of them have started coming back. And they have started working within their parents' factories. They are also looking for that security. You know, it is not, has not only been only two weeks where a very close uncle of mine lost his son. And I believe some people, I call them opportunists, are using the coming elections as a game to loot us. Not only the Asian community, but all of us put together. And the time to act is now. We do not wish to have closed-door meetings where 
we'll be told we will, uh, we will get security from X, Y, Z. Sir, I beseech you, please help us now. Um, I believe that um, we are standing, we will be standing, uh, I believe that there will be uni unity in diversity, as you mentioned. And um, as my lovely auntie said uh, last time, I was just having a conversation with her, Usha. She said, we donate in Kenya because we live in Kenya. And that is very true. We have been doing that for a very long time, and it is very kind. I'm sure if I asked you as a show of hand, if I asked you how many of you has given even a shilling to anybody, I'm sure most of this hall will have their hands up. We are a very giving and kind society. Um, <laughs> lastly, I'd like to thank everybody for giving me this chance to stand. I seek your moral support. And um, I, uh, I also seek your advice. In less than 33 days, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to enter elections. I beseech you to be calm, to go and vote, and please, the reason why we're having this conversation today is to have political dialogue, which I believe we lack. Let us talk to each other. Let us be comfortable. And after that, uh, the last thing I have to say is, lots of people have always asked me, why the Jubilee Alliance? <coughs> and I hope you've got your answers today. Mishma <laughs> Huru, I, I know I have been standing with you, and today you didn't recognize me because I'm wearing a sari. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's not easy going on to these rallies. When they start at 7 in the morning and it goes on till late and you keep on talking and you keep on talking. And, uh, and I want to thank them. Because if anybody says ICC to them, that is not a reason for them why they should sit down. In fact, it's a reason for them to go on. Somebody cannot just splash something on you and you expect it and then you just sit down. No. We have to stand up and we have to talk. So I hope when the date comes, March 4th, wherever you are, whichever constituency, in any corner of Kenya, please make the right decision. Vote for Mr. Kenya.